Shuno Yachts 51. As you can see, we've got the terrace um, down at the moment, which is designed for you to be able to gain access without a passerelle if you're stern to mooring in the Mediterranean. We have one of our retractable davits deployed here and in the stowed position here. The davits can take up to 110 kilos, which is good for about a 15 horsepower engine with a three meter rim. We have a large bathing platform, hot and cold shower, and as we move into the cockpit, <coughs> we have deep storage lockers, which you might want to take a picture of. They're the same both sides. These are optional helm seats. We have a rope locker in the cockpit so that we can take all of your warps. And up forward, behind the anchor locker, we have a huge storage space, which I'll show you later on. So we realized that on a yacht like this, the outside living space is equally as important as the space that we create downstairs. To this end, we can move the two halyard winches outboard. Normally they're situated on the coach roof up here, but that's allowed us to create these lounger seats where you sit right up underneath the spray hood out of the weather. It's very comfortable. We even have stainless steel inserts which you can put in the deep freeze to keep your drinks cool. The chair backs are nice and high and there's plenty of space all around the cockpit for the big numbers of people. We have a huge cockpit table with folding leaves. This can also come in teak. Here we have cup holders. There's a tray insert for bringing drinks from up from below. And this is a high capacity fridge for keeping your drinks cold. At the aft end of our cockpit table, we've created a space for the life raft. This not only means that the life raft is stowed in a safe position, but it gives the, if in the emergency, you're able to deploy from the terrace allowing you much better chance of getting the life raft to deploy in the upright position. As you can see we have a very large bimini and there are windows over each helm station that you can either block off to block the sun or you can have open so that you can see the sails when you're sailing with the bimini deployed. The bimini overhangs the large spray hood. The spray hood has a really um, nice real leather clad handle which extends outboard onto the side decks to make it safer entering and leaving the cockpit. And we have these ultra clear strata glass windows so that there are no imperfections and the view is really clear. This stays up all of the time. When we're at the helm, um, either motoring or sailing, you'll notice that we've got our instrument consoles up high, um, but equally easy to use if we're um, sat down sailing. Here this is the driving helm so we have our electric anchor windlass with a chain counter, bow thruster, our instruments for depth, speed and wind and our chart plotters. All very close, very easy to view and very easy to use and we've also got our engine control up high so that we can drive the boat without having to bend down. The Chinook yacht is um, equipped with an in-mast Berlin mainsail and 110% overlapping Genoa, so she's a, a, a very powerful boat, but very easy to sail. We've brought the main sheet on a German main sheet system back to these winches which are easily reachable from the helm as well as the Genoa. As well as meaning this makes it easy for you to be able to sail the boat single handed, it also means that you're not disturbing your guests in the cockpit when underway. Our halyard winches as well as being brought out on the boat to create these lounger areas are also very easy to use and we put rope tidy bins so that all of our halyard tails are not only kept tidy but it's safe there's no trip hazards. Roll deck 
we have a very nice flat area that we can put a, cock, uh, a cushion for sunbathing. We also have a nice big flat area up here. This is our electric anchor windlass with a capstan. We have a double bow roller. The bow roller has a self launcher. So as the anchor shank comes up to the top of the boat, it throws the spade away from the hull to save damage. Really deep anchor locker. But the star of the show is this enormous storage area. Underneath here we have our bow thruster um, encapsulated and it's also um, got the batteries and all the bow thruster and windlass and an area that's big enough for you to be able to put all of your sails, um, um, deflated dinghy etc. It's a really massive and very important space when you're long distance cruising. As you can see we have moulded tow rails. These are very deep they're very difficult to become damaged. We have extra high guard rails for safety and as you can see on this particular model we have the teak laid decks. These are actually laid in a factory away from the boat and when we lay the genuine teak onto the hull there are no mechanical fixings so there is no danger of any water ingress into the construction of the deck itself. So here we are down below, as you can see it's a very light and airy space and I'm going to talk you through the galley on this Chano Yachts 51. The first thing to note is that we have the white Corian stone for our countertops. Very hard wearing, very durable. Here we have twin stainless steel sinks with Corian stone covers which increases our working area when we want to be chopping if we work in here. Here we have the bin and we can literally just slide the, um, the waste into our waste bin. We have a rollover countertop again in Corian stone. And here we have our three burner Eno cooker in stainless steel, which has an oven and a grill. It fully gimbals so it can be used at sea and with a locking door. Here we have our fridge which is a large domestic type of kind you'd find in your own homes. And there's an option in this drawer to have either a 75 litre additional fridge, obviously top loading, or the most popular option is to go for a deep freeze with an on-demand ice maker. All of the drawers are soft close and all of them have leather wrapped handles as well as the leather wrapped um, hand rails for walking through the boat. As well as multiple storage in the galley, we've also brought some of the storage outboard. So we've brought our cutlery drawer, for example, out here so that I could lay the table for supper without disturbing the person who's trying to cook in the galley. Again, everything on soft clothes with open pour varnish to the light oak interior on this particular boat. On this particular bo boat, we have a three cabin layout with our master forward and our VIP cabin aft, as well as another double cabin. And here, instead of the conventional third heads, we have our utility room. This cupboard here, houses a nine kilo front loading washer dryer. Next to it, we have an option for another fridge or a top loading deep freeze. And we can even put a microwave on top of the um, washing machine box. Lower down, we have our vegetable boxes, which are vented for storing vegetables and tins, etc. This is a long distance cruiser and we appreciate the need for the space. So here we are, our master's cabin. As you would expect on a Chano Yachts 51, there's a high level of finish. Um, this particular boat doesn't have the quilted headboards of the individual pack, um, but normally when you've picked your upholstery, we would fit those for you. As you can see outboard, we have these very large um, hull ports. We have enough headroom for you to be able to sit up in bed comfortably with your morning coffee and look at the ocean. 
and at night these aviation style blackout lines mean that you can just close off the light. We have double hatches to improve ventilation. We have cupboards all along the outboard sides of both sides. These are deeper than they may appear and they're good at swallowing up a lot of the small stuff jumpers, etc. We have the small seats um, and we have very deep blanket boxes which are accessed without the need to lift up the bed. Here we have our master's ensuite um, with a brown Corian stone countertops and porcelain um, hand basin. Uh, full size toilets with the option to have electric quiet flush. We've done away with the traditional non-slip floors and instead we've used a, a wooden um, floor or a laminate floor um, which is in a non-slip to match the other floorboards throughout the boat. It's much easier to clean and it's nicer aesthetically. As you can see we've got a, a large shower area with a folding perspex door that allows you to shower and still keep your clothes and towels dry with very high end fittings and there's plenty of storage inside this ensuite. Both sides of the cabin we have a large hanging locker space which is illuminated and below we have double shelved storage spaces for shoes etc. In our large, light and airy saloon, we have two hatches. These hatches have insect screens and blackout blinds. They also have friction stays which allow you to fix the position of the vent if you open the hatch. Here we have two large hull ports which when you're sat down give you a lovely view of the ocean. And these have got drop down blackouts so in the evening you can be completely private. Our large windows have ocean air drop down blinds. Again, very quick and easy to deploy. This area here is either storage or we can use this as a pop-up television. And we have a bottle store here, which we can swap out for a wine fridge. There are several table options. This is the standard table. We do a, an option where the table looks exactly the same. We have a small coffee table here which acts as a support pillar and the top folds over. And so we're able to have a table at double the size and utilize this sofa seating if we're entertaining a large number of guests. So here we have a traditional forward facing nav station. As you can see, we have our digital display. We can look at um, our fuel um, and water. Um, these calibrate each time uh, you press the button so you get accurate readouts. Um, it tells us that we're connected to shore power. Here we have our generator and our air conditioning controls, um, which if you take those options, you control from here as well as your Fusion music system. And we have the Bose 2.1 speakers with a big subwoofer, so we have high quality music. So this is our VIP cabin. As you can see, it's extremely large. It takes up more than half the width of the boat. Normally we have the padded headboards when the owner has decided on the fabric option. We have the large windows you have enough headroom to be able to sit up in bed and read the, your books or have a cup of coffee in the morning and a view of the ocean. We have lots of hanging space and storage bins so storing all your clothes is not a problem and we have 5 inch thick memory foam mattresses that are extremely good quality with zip off removable mattress covers that can be laundered in your washing machine.
do it, just the same, the same thing. 